Hello friends, welcome to Rajawal Education Channel. In this video, we are going to see how to solve this example 3.7. Here we have to calculate the current through the galvanometer when a potential difference of 10 volt is maintained across AC. The other informations we can get it from this figure. First, we consider this uh, BDAB loop. Here we have to apply Kirchhoff second rule, that is voltage rule. So here the loop direction and the current directions are same. Here also the loop direction and current directions are same. But in this case, this is a loop direction, but current direction is in this way. So both are opposite direction. So we have to give negative sign in this case. So the equation becomes so 100 I1 plus 15 IG minus 60 I2. Dividing this equation by 5, we get 20 I1 plus 3 IG minus 12 I2 is equal to 0. Let's consider this is equation 1. Next, we consider this loop that is VCDB loop. So, here this loop direction and the current directions are same. But in these two cases, this is loop direction, this is current direction. Here, this is a loop direction, upward direction. But the current direction is downward direction. Both are opposite direction. So, we have to give negative sign here and here. So, the equation becomes 10 I1 minus Ig minus here minus 5 into I2 plus Ig minus 15 into Ig. Again, dividing this equation by 5, we get this one. Expanding this equation, we get 2i1 minus 2ig minus i2 minus ig minus 3ig is equal to 0. Adding this ig values, that is minus 2ig minus ig minus 3ig gives minus 6ig. So, the equation becomes 2i1 minus 6ig minus 1i2 is equal to 0. Let us consider this is equation 2. Next, we consider this ADCEA loop. Here, uh, both the loop direction and the current directions are same. So, the equation becomes 60I2 plus 5 into I2 plus Ig is equal to 10. Here, 10 volt is given. So, that is equal to 10. Dividing this equation by 5, we get 13 I2 plus Ig is equal to 2. Let's consider this is equation 3. Next, we have to cancel this 20 I1. So, we have to multiply the second equation by 10, we get this one. And the subtracting this first equation from this equation, this I1 is cancelled. So, the resultant value is 63 Ig minus 2i2 is equal to 0. Rearranging this equation, we get this one. Bringing this 2 here, we get this one. So, substituting this i2 value in third equation, we get this one. That is 13 into 63 by 2 into ig plus ig is equal to 2. By taking LCM, we get this one. That is 13 into 63 ig plus 2 ig by 2 is equal to 2. 13 into 63, 890 IG plus uh, 2 IG and uh, 2 into 2 is 4, so is equal to 4. Adding these two values, we get 821 IG is equal to 4. So, bring this 821 on right hand side, we get IG value. So, IG value is equal to 4 by 821. Multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 1000, we get 4000 divided by 821 into 1000. 4000 by 821 is 4.87, that is 4.87 divided by 1000. So, we can say 4.87 milliampere. So, 4.87 milliampere current is flowing through the galvanometer. This is the answer. Thank you for watching.